Welcome back to this next edition of the 283-350 build. Um, again, we are building a pair. Uh, this is for a twin engine boat. Um, and uh, I wanted to address a couple of things before we put the heads on this engine uh, that are just these crazy uh, Chris Craft nuances. Um, probably the biggest thing uh, that confuses people and confused me until I kind of looked into it a little bit further just to understand it fully is the timing order, the fire, the firing order uh, for the Chris Craft engine. Um, it is not the same as the uh, standard Chevy small block, big block firing order. Um, and this being the reverse rotation, it has yet a different firing order. But it's pretty simple on how they did it. Obviously, this is the front of the engine as we would know it today where our gear set is. This is a reverse rotation. Um, but Chris Craft uh, considers this the back of the engine. This is our rear housing and our transmission will go on to this with our flywheel forward configuration. So the way Chris Craft looked at it is normally our small block Chevy would is, uh, this is always number one right here. Um, but in the Chris Craft version, they call this number eight. And on the opposite far end is now number one. Basically, the firing order is the same in as far as where it's going from cylinder to cylinder. They just start it in a different um, location. Um, so basically, what I've done here before I put the heads on is I found my absolute TDC on the Chris Craft number one cylinder. Okay, which is now at the forward end or the flywheel end of the uh, of the marine motor version. And I've also marked that on my gear set. So this gear set, obviously the dot to dot, straight up and down, is gonna give you the top dead center of the Chevy number one position. But what we really wanna know is the top uh, dead center of the number one, the Chris Craft number one order. And so I marked the gear set uh, indicating that. Now, I think the key here to keep it simple is that the flywheel, the stock flywheel of the Chris Craft 283, um, it already is set with a dimple. And when you look at the picture here, you've got on that front housing, you've got a window and a pointer. And that pointer and that dimple line up on the Chris Craft number one cylinder. And uh, I believe it is uh, what I'm told by a couple of uh, knowledgeable people is that when you line up that dimple on that pointer, on this cylinder, it should be on this cylinder, top dead center firing position. It is five degrees uh, before top dead center. We're gonna verify that later uh, when we do get the flywheel. But this way I have this motor set up on absolute TDC of this cylinder. I can put on the flywheel gonna line that flywheel up and um, and then I can see, I can basically degree that flywheel and know exactly, I can put a zero mark, uh, 12 degrees, 28 degrees, what have you, on that flywheel. So we'll be doing that later, uh, but I wanted to get this thing line aligned out uh, ahead of time before I put the heads on. So it will stay in this position right here for right now. A um, couple of quick things before I put the heads on, I'm using the Felpro 17030 Marine Head Gasket, standard head gasket, good good head gasket there. Um, and uh, I'll be back and we'll talk about the, uh, the specific machine work that was done on the heads um, to, uh, to replicate the original uh, 283 heads. Uh, another thing to note I wanted to bring up because um, there's quite a bit of confusion and uh, is reversing the pistons on a reverse rotation. Um, that is a real thing. Um, and right is right and wrong is wrong, in my opinion on that. Um, there are, I'm sure, thousands of marine engines out there that, um, that the pistons are not in the right direction as far as their thrust for a reverse rotation. but they're not really having any problems. Um, but that doesn't make it right, in my opinion. So uh, you'll notice that these pistons, they have the dimple on them. 
meaning that they are an offset pin and uh, they are reversed. So this is the front of the engine as we would think of it in a car. They are directional. So they came to me in the opposite side. Um, now I'm not a, a full expert. I don't claim to be on this, understanding this. So I'm gonna put a link to um, a, uh, another video where a, uh, a in, my, in my opinion, an expert walks you through as to what's happening with regards to the thrust side of the of this the piston and the cylinder wall uh, and why it makes a difference um, and why it should be reversed. But nonetheless, uh, you'll notice that this reverse rotation, the pistons, the dimple are all now in this direction, which is the front end of the Chris Graff Marine engine, but it's turning in the opposite direction. This is turning counterclockwise as you would look at it from the front. So, um, so anyway, I'll put a link to that video, watch that video, and that will give you a lot of detailed information about that nuance. Um, but it's something good to know. Um, some people and some builders either don't know about it or they don't care or they don't think there's a problem or they haven't had a problem, which is, is certainly legitimate, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's right. So uh, educate yourself on that. And uh, if you have the opportunity to make sure, you know, if you're doing a fresh build, you can inquire about it, you can ask about it. Um, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't take any more time to put them in the right direction uh, for a reverse rotation as it does the other way. Um, it just has to be thought through and done in the, in the, uh, in the beginning. Okay, and we are back. We've got the, uh, the heads are on. And uh, now let's talk about the machining uh, that you have to do for the new heads. Now, if you're reusing the original Chris Craft heads, um, they uh, obviously are, have already been machined for the uh, water water uh, outlets in the in the front here of the engine uh, but if you're like me and you're using uh, newer uh, heads on a long block assembly you'll need to have the uh, machine shop uh, do the machine work uh, or you can attempt it yourself but basically uh, these are our two different types of fittings here we've got a 90 degree elbow uh, fitting that comes out of the front of the head and it meet, mates up over at the um, exhaust manifold. I've got that kind of just temporarily mocked up here to show you how that lines up. So uh, a good uh, rule of thumb here or, or tip is mock this up and actually take the exhaust manifold attached to the head to the machine shop so that they can see the angle here and get this lined up straight across from each other. Um, both the uh, angles of this machine work here are the same on both sides. Um, in this particular case, this head had kind of a raised kind of hump area that needed to be machined down. Um, one of these screws holes, uh, bolt holes was utilized, uh, was filled and then re-tapped here. Then the um, hole drilled into the uh, water jacket and then a new hole for the, uh, the uh, smaller uh, quarter 20 bolts here. Um, on this side, same thing on this side, this is a different fitting. So there's only, uh, as far as I know, there's only two different scenarios you can have. You can either have an alternator, a later alternator version of this engine, um, which utilizes a different fitting here, this fitting that comes out and goes straight up. And then with a special hose that's bent that comes over to a T on this exhaust manifold. Um, or uh, earlier style would be a generator version where the generator is attached to the front housing and goes back down this way. And you have then just a standard 90 degree angle, same, same fitting coming out on this side. And then this would just go straight over to the same fitting here, a street elbow 90 to a kind of a Y T type um, fitting. This would be where your uh, temperature sender is and that would come out just straight over and those would meet uh, on this side together. Uh, and in this case, this is an alternator version. So we have a T straight up. And again, we use the hose that is made for this. Uh, that can, uh, can get that from uh, Robert Hinkle. 
chris-craft-parts.com and uh, that description is in the link. Uh, I'm sorry, that uh, link is in the description. Um, so that's pretty much it uh, on the machine work of the heads. Um, while these heads, these are brand new heads, went in and had the machine shop, um, just go through them just to make sure that everything was 100% right because they are just you know factory production uh, GM. So they took out all the valves, lapped in all the valves, um, put a better oil seal on the valve stem. Um, they uh, commented that the surface was not really good on the head, so they came and gave it a light resurface, a much better surface on the head. Um, again, I used the Cell, uh, Felpro 17030, I believe it's 17030 head gasket. I think I've already mentioned that. Uh, those, so those are all torqued down. This is the low rise uh, aluminum intake uh, that you see a lot used in the cruisers. Um, and uh, it just really brings that profile down several inches. So you either have the low rise intake or you have a cast iron standard intake manifold, which you see a lot of those in the single engine uh, boats that don't have a, uh, a height restriction. Uh, so either one of those are the same. Um, that's pretty much it for this section. Um, cam is in there. Next thing we'll do is uh, standard procedures for the valve train, uh, getting that back uh, and adjusted. And uh, then we will probably, uh, probably what I'll do is I'll drop this off the engine stand. I will set it on um, some regular roller stands that mount to the side of the, the block on the regular GM uh, block mounts here. And that way I can attach the flywheel to the front um, again, we've got the cam set up to where it's timed right for the Chris Craft timing. It's on top dead center, exact top dead center on what Chris Craft calls the number one cylinder, which is actually the number eight cylinder on the on a Chevy, small block Chevy. And uh, that way we can do kind of a timing procedure with a degree wheel to mark the flywheel um, exactly where I wanted, like I do a zero and a... Uh, uh, 12 and a 28 um, on the flywheel and I'll walk through those procedures um, in the next installment. Hope this helps. Take care.